everybody, welcome back. It's Gina. Uh, I've got a um, journal to share with you guys. This is um, from Mary Lou, who's at the Porch Swing Designs. She um, was generous enough to allow me to create uh, this journal using her In the Garden Prayer Journal Kit. Absolutely stunning kit. It's a big kit. Um, honestly, I couldn't even use everything in here. I tried Mary Lou, but it is, it's a really, really big kit, and it's just beautiful. The colors are totally the colors I'm most comfortable with. I like the softer, muted um, pastels, and it's just been such a pleasure um, working with it, and I appreciate Mary Lou so much um, for allowing me to showcase this kit for her. I'm going to put the link below for the kit that I've used. Um, so if you're interested, do check that out and check out Mary Lou's other kits. She's got some gorgeous, gorgeous uh, things to work with. Um, I'm so impressed because, um, you know, she's just, she's done wonders. Um, it's, it's just amazing how well her um, images have come out because I don't think this was... Uh, what Mary Lou trained in, but she's obviously obviously spent a lot of time uh, learning a new uh, specialty. So check her out, and I will carry on with this journal. It's a five by seven, three signature. There's 144 pages in here. It's a fabric journal. Um, I've reinforced it. Uh, trying to think. Obviously, you can see I've done quite a bit of stitching. It's uh, to give it kind of a, like a quilted look to it. The spine, I um, I've used a five-hole um, pamphlet stitch in this, and then I came back over it with some vintage lace, and all of the buttons are hand sewn on. Love that button. I I love how that's come out. And then on the front, I've just um, Let's see, I've got some muslin cotton, and then I've got the fabric on that, and then this is one of the images from the kit. And then I've done some die cut, fussy cut some images from the kit, and then I did some embossing, got some little brads, and then this is, um, excuse me, one of the little images, and I've just <coughs> framed that and then added some some little um, crocheted trim to that. So the closure is just very um, simple. I just took some of the material, doubled it up, did and stitched that within the journal. And you can see it's it's big. It wants to open up. So <laughs> we'll get started on the front here. Um, so inside I've just put some background paper and then I've stitched another of the images from the kit and then I've added this um, this is very old uh, trim that I purchased from a um, antiques show and so I've just created a pocket in the front and the back using this I love that material and I will admit I've been hoarding that for some time so uh, here I've just done a little a uh, handmade card with some cutouts. Uh, I thought it was in keeping with the garden theme. I did um, a little mini file folder, and this is one of the images. Just beautiful. Um, I love purples and lavenders, so this just right up my alley. And then um, Mary Lou has included these as well, and it's a little uh, card where you can put who the journal belongs to. So I've just tucked that in there so whoever receives it can just uh, fill that out. Um, beautiful uh, scriptures with the images, the colors. Like I said, I'm, I love this kit. It's just gorgeous. Here I've, I've backed the image with some uh, tea stained paper and then I did a, a tight zigzag stitch along the edge there. And then I created a big pocket here, and this is another one um, that goes with that little card I just showed you. Um, this is where my story begins, so I've tucked that in there. 
and some um, Edith Holden paper. I've done some little tabs out of, this is just like a kind of a heavier weight cotton, and I've done some stamping on it. Here's a little glassine bag with some uh, lace I've just recently purchased. And then I've got, this was a stamp set I got from Hobby Lobby, gosh, a couple years back. Um, so that's coming really handy. Did some uh, corner punch. This is uh, the avocado skin dyed paper. Love that. Thought that went really well. Oh, Mary Lou. Yes, her vellum paper, which comes, um, I'm not sure if it, yes, it comes in this kit or if this was an additional add-on. I'm not sure about that. But, oh my goodness, this is just so beautiful. Mary Lou, if I could wallpaper my room with this, I would. I love it. Absolutely gorgeous paper. So I've run that through on the vellum and printed that out, and the, they just come out so lovely. Uh, here's a little pocket that comes in the kit and another of her journaling cards. And that's been backed on to... Um, some book page from a uh, garden book I've got. Here's one of her little envelopes and she has little cards that coordinate with them um, and it's so nice because she is even you know written little notes on there because no matter how long you've been crafting it's nice to have just little reminders that Oh, this card goes with that envelope, so thank you, Mary Lou. That, that's a nice little um, touch to the kit um, because I get very much tunnel vision when I'm crafting, and sometimes I just, you know, cut away, and it was nice to know that those actually went together. It's just gorgeous. And here I've done an Anna Griffin um Pocket. I've done a couple of these in it, and this is out of some stamping up uh, cardstock. I thought the colors matched really nice. And this is another of the tags that comes in the kit. Just beautiful. I love the, what she's chosen for the background of these. The colors all coordinate so nicely. Um, stitch, as you can see, there's a lot of stitching in this uh, journal, and uh, she's she's got a nice lined sheet here for writing. I've added some more lace trim there and this is from the kit as well. It's the Lord's Prayer so I've made a pocket out there and then I've just hand stamped that little image and this was one of the tags from the kit. So that's been put in there. This is from a vintage uh, flower book. I thought that the colors just were, worked perfectly with this so I had to include that. Uh, doily, some more of the avocado skin dyed paper, and uh, it's just a little ledger sheet. This is one of the um, big pockets and tags that she includes. Love that. Absolutely beautiful. And then I've also stitched, I cut this out with an oval punch, and this is also another little... Um, Gosh, I don't have any, another little tuck spot there. Sorry, it's a dinky tag, isn't it? Um, so you got room to tuck something else there as well. And this, this is the center of the signer. I love this page. When that printed out, I, it's just beautiful. I, I'm going to be using this image. I've got some ideas for using this, so you'll be seeing more of that very soon. Um, all of the signatures, I've put little hearts. Mary Lou's included these in the kit. She's had a, a lot of uh, thought went into this, and she's included the little hearts for, for you to uh, use in the center of the signature if you want. Here I've got a hand crocheted um, flower with a button, and that's um, these are all from the kit here. I've made a little tuck spot there. Another little note card you can write on, and another journaling tag there. Okay. 
here um, I've just cut this out and then backed it with some cheesecloth and another layer of cardstock and just made a little tuck spot there for the tag. And this page I've just done, this is that uh, hand handmade paper. This is a cotton and I finally had a chance to stamp on it. I love how that's come out. So that's been tucked into this little corner pocket here. Got some more of the um, trim. Lots of writing space for you. Here I've done a little um, flip out. This is from the kit as well. And then the vellum paper again. Love that. Gosh, it's just, the colors are just fantastic. Glassine bag, um, Edith Holden page, and then um, I cannot remember who I saw had done this, so forgive me for not giving credit, but I, can, I honestly cannot remember, but this is one of the little flip outs. I thought that was a really cute little idea, so I've done that, and then this also is a little pocket, and I've made a pocket behind as well, so there's two pockets and the flip out. We're on to the second signature. This is um, some more very old uh, trim that I've picked up, so I've created another pocket. I love that. And this is one of the tags from the kit. Beautiful. Another little flip out there. Um, this is a doily. I've just created a pocket there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is, I've done a um, tea bag um, pocket here. Now um, I did this one slightly different. There is one. Uh, uh oh. Oh boy, I put that in there too soon. I'll have to work on that. This, I um, stitched this down. So instead of being, I normally have two pockets out of it, but this, because it's been stitched, obviously it's closed it. I will have to work on that. I must have put that tag in there too soon. And then I've put the little um, butterfly end on the, on the string there. Added some uh, pom-pom trim and then the image from Mary Lou's kit. This is some vintage hymnal. Oh, I'll have to fix that. I'll have to glue that down, that must have moved. This is uh, Edith Holden with some trim. Boy, I don't know. Some glued too quick, some didn't glue enough. <laughs> That's the way it goes, doesn't it? And you're always going to find it on camera. So <laughs> Here I've done another little tab. This is another one of the little stamps. I like those. I really like the stamping on fabric. I think you guys know by now that I'm loving the material, working with that so much. This is just a um, cardstock that I've run through the embosser. I love to have these in my journals. I just think... I don't know, they just it just adds another bit of um, interest to the journal. And the, this, I've created a pocket out of um, this little image and then included that journaling card. Another of the hand, uh, handmade, or hand crocheted flowers. Not by me, I might add. And this is the center of this signature. Isn't that beautiful? Such a pretty, pretty kit. This is another of the uh, pockets from the kit, and here I've just done a, um, a hand stamp postcard, and this is one of the uh, journaling cards from the kit, and then a little mason jar cut out. Some trim. Love this vellum. Look at that. I'll put it up closer. You can see it. Isn't it just beautiful? And that teal with the purple. Those, That right there is probably my favorite colors right there. Love it. 
Um, this is one of the um, little envelopes, and I just did a little um, paper clip. It's got a little charm on it with some seam binding. I didn't put anything in this envelope, but I wanted to have plenty of room for you to add things to it. Some more trim. And then this is another of the pages. Isn't that pretty? It's like, um, I don't know, almost like a doily background. And then she's got the lines for you to write. Just gorgeous. Here's another of the Anna Griffin uh, pockets. And some more of the journaling cards from the kit. Beautiful. This I've done um, <clears throat> kind of like one of my little snippet pockets, you know, I like to do that. And so um, I've stitched one of Mary Lou's images there, and then there's plenty of room where you can add a tag to it. And this little pocket, oh, beautiful. There's one of the... Um, journaling cards. Isn't that beautiful image? Gosh. Mary Lou, you've just done an amazing job on this kit. And I love this is, see, this is like a wood grain but it's so subtle because sometimes you get some of the things I've seen at the stores oh, they're just, the colors are so loud and I just love this. This is just totally me. And these little um, she's got little tickets that come in the kit and lots of these little little tags. So I've tucked those in there. And here's another page. Some more of that um, trim I've recently acquired. It's uh, I've been looking out for some beautiful trims because I'm starting to get really low. This is one of the other uh, tags in the kit and then back here I've done a um, altered paper clip with her little banners and then I've tucked all these little journal cards to it. Now this, I'll get these back on or I'll forget where they go. Um, this is just so adorable. Look at, she's got several of these tiny envelopes and I love it and then it's got the little note card and she tells you which goes with, you know, with the envelope. Just so sweet. Love those. I love these little bitty ones. This just a um, oh, greeting card that I had gotten recently and I thought it really went nice with the ducks. I thought that was sweet since it's uh, in the garden. And then this is a uh, handmade paper envelope. And so I have folded that and cut the uh, flap so that you could, you know, I could work it in here. I've just included some various um, postcards. I thought that was nice. It uh, goes in keeping with this. That's another piece of this vellum. It is just gorgeous. So, so pretty. And then I've done a little of the little tabs. Here's another um, envelope. And she's got all the scripture on there. Beautiful. This is the center of this signature. So you can see, love that. Uh, here I've done <clears throat> a little glassine pocket, and this is uh, these are both from the kits. And then inside is another one of those little tickets, and then the. Um, 
little envelope and card. Love that. They're just adorable. Yeah, this is just perfect for me because you know I like the pastels. I like working in smaller. I don't like big projects. So this was just so much fun making because it's totally me. <laughs> I love the smaller journals. I just think they're so dainty. This, I put some eyelash trim and some seam binding. And obviously it's another of those pockets. And then here is some of the trim. And I love this card so much because this reminds me of the thatched roof houses around. It's so, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. She is beautiful chosen such pretty images for this kit. More of that vellum and then this is the other side of that um, handmade paper um, envelope and I've included this post postcard as well. I thought that was really pretty because that's your thatched roof and actually there's a um, this is one of Mary Lou's uh, ladies in the garden. This comes with it. I love these images, so I thought those were just perfect together. And this is the back of that little card. I've just made a little pocket there. And that's one of the tags from the kit. It is such a big kit, honestly. I've got a couple of sheets I could I, I've still got left. Um I just couldn't, uh, it was getting so big. And here I've done a um, music sheet pocket and then this I've attached to it and then inside, look at these images. Isn't that beautiful? And that's from the Lady in the Garden printouts. So pretty. So, so pretty. And then here I've just done a, a little vintage button and, and just wrap that around to keep that in place. Look at that pattern. It's almost like a watercolor. It is in it just, oh, with the avocado paper that really looks nice against that. This is the, um, the back page, or the back of the journal. As I said, there's another of those pockets. I've stitched in another of the cards from the kit and then here um, I created this. Now I don't remember who whose idea this was. I'm going to have to really start making some notes I think but yeah I know I'll never be that organized. But somebody did this and I don't know. So I put one of um, the journaling cards in the back. I'll try to find who it is, and if I do, I will link below where, where I saw this, and I cannot remember, um, but it's just altering an um, envelope, and then it opens up, and then here, what I've done is I've left, um, sorry, let me just get, I'm not prepared very well, am I? Here, I've left this open so that you can add some things. Obviously, that's one of the note cards from the kit. Um, this one's not a pocket. I've just glued that one down. And then here, I've got the little, um, some little tags. But this is another of the ladies. And then I've, I've taken, this comes in the kit as well, and I've taken that and layered that. So that will all fold up. just like that and that tucks underneath and I've got that in the back so there we go um, trying to think if there's anything else I'm going to be putting this journal up for sale um, later um, in my Etsy shop so if you're interested do check it out, and as I said below, um, or I, I will include below Mary Lou's um, shop link and the garden um, 
in the garden kit link. So do check that out. And thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I hope everybody's having a great, um, well, I hope you're going to have a great weekend. We're, gosh, the week's flown by. Anyways, you guys have a good time this weekend. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for coming. Bye.